All right, Caleb, what game are we playing today? Gravity Maze. Gravity Maze? Oh, that looks cool. Do you like Gravity Maze? Yes, I do. And why? Because it's all logic and it's a puzzle game. Ooh. I love puzzles. A logic puzzle kind of game, but it looks 3D too. Yeah. Oh, is. awesome. Well, what do you do in Gravity Maze? You try to make this marble okay. fall through these towers okay. into this red box. Let's check that out. Oh, but they're all shaped different. You've got lots of different towers. And they're all... Ooh, the marbles go through them all different ways. So, is, is that easy? You just put a couple of things together and go? Mm, no. Oh, no? What's, what's the challenge? There are puzzles for you to solve. Oh, show me how those work. Like this says to get an orange. Okay. Oh, and they've got and dots on them. And make the dots them. face like that. Okay. And put it in that spot in the grid. And it snaps right in. And nice. then to put this like that. Because it also and has dots. That spot in the grid. Oriented. And then okay. it says to add a purple standing mm -hmm. up and a gray standing up. Okay. So you grab those. Since there's two spots empty to go into here, and there's only two towers, I think it'll just go straight across. So let's see this orange one though, because what does this orange one do? Looks like it's going down, and that's down. Okay, and then it was in just the back goes of the red. through every piece. Okay, but if you turn them around differently, if the purple is twisted. Wait. If you put that in wrong, and then do this still manages to oh, make it to the wet. Oh, because you went down through there. And there's a thing to alter the marble's course. And it curved sideways, so it came in the corner, went out. So just and went knowing what those there. knowing what those are. But that wasn't the challenge on that card. Oh no. Well, that card seemed pretty easy. Yeah. Oh, because I see it says There's also beginner. intermediate levels, advanced levels, and expert levels. Ooh, let me see that card. Wow. So you set up, ooh, the red's in the middle, the objective's in the middle. So what's that, the purple and green together, what does that mean? That means the purple is on the bottom. Let, let's set it up, actually. Okay. Let's see, so it says the purple's on the bottom and the green actually stacks on top of it. And again, you orient the dots based off of how they show up on the card. Yep. So the green goes on the purple. And you got the red oriented that way. And then a purple. And then another purple. Like this. And it, in, and it enters right here. And it enters so I have there. to add oh, a gray, goodness. a gray, an orange, a sideways. Green. Oh, because the green is listed there, so a green is going to be sideways in this one? Yes, and a blue. Oh my goodness. So you're so, going to have to try to figure out how on earth to do it based yes, off of what you I think you're going to do. Yes, and I actually have no idea how to do this one. So it's going to be very So do you like these challenges? Fun. Yes, very much. Hmm. All right, I'll pause and we'll come back to you in a second. Okay. All right, so you figured that one out? Yes. All right, let's check it out. Okay, What's gonna so happen? the marble goes in here, goes through here. So those are both slant down. Goes through here, goes through there, and through there, into this, which goes down into this, which goes down into the wood. All right, put it in, so, let me see. So, in action. And it ended up okay. in the red? No. That one, it hit one of the edges okay, and bounced off. Again. What edge is it hitting? Oh, there, there we go. go. All right, it went in. Now it's in the red. Nice. Okay. Well, cool. Well, what? What if it was too challenging and you couldn't solve it? That is when you just flip it over. Oh, the you solution say, oh, is there. Oh my goodness, I can't solve this. And that shows you exactly again how they get down and where it goes into the red. Yeah. Well, that's a pretty cool thing to do. So do you like just doing those challenges on your own? Yeah, but I also like inventing my own. Ooh, you can invent your own? How does yes. that work? 
Um, you get some. You get however many towels you want. Yeah. This time I'm gonna use all the towels. Just for fun. Yes, and hopefully it will hit everyone. So there are some rules in how you can set it up, right? Mm -hmm. Um, I could go down. And I alter the path again. To go this direction. Okay, zip it around. And then I make it go down. And then I alter the path here. And put the word right there. Okay, so that's a zigzag. There well, let's see, okay, go ahead and drop it in, let's see. Nice. Okay, and you got it in there, nice. And then what do you do now that you've made one? Now, I decide I will say, do this. Take off some of the pieces. Okay. Give it to someone else and say, solve my puzzle. Oh, so you leave a few in, tell them other things they have to use. And it has to use all of these. And you say, ooh. Go ahead, try to solve it. Oh, so who do you like to challenge? Uh, mostly my brother. Yeah. Yeah. Like to challenge Jaden. Nice. Well, cool. Well, what would you rate Gravity Maze then? I would rate it a 4.6. 4.6? That's awesome. Well, I can see I may be a distraction to you now. You're focused. Oh, I've already created another one. Nice. Yeah, you could just keep going all day, huh? Yep. All right. Thanks, Caleb. Bye.